Hello everyone and welcome to a new lesson. So today we're looking at Ted Reed's Syncopation book. If you've not got this already, I highly recommend getting it. So I actually featured this one in my five essential drum books video. If you've not checked that out, link will be in the description. This thing is such a versatile book and I'm going to show you one way you can actually use it to build up jazz chops and independence. So this book is essentially just pages and pages of rhythms written out. We can use these rhythms as comping patterns for a jazz groove. So what we can do is we can play a swing pattern as an ostinato, like so. And then we can add these rhythms that are written in the book as comping patterns on the left hand on the snare. So a lot of these examples in the book are actually written straight, but it says in the book, I'm pretty sure, that you should play them swung. So that actually works quite nicely. So even though it's written as straight eighth notes, you could do them as swung eighth notes and swung sixteenth notes, etc. In today's example, I'm going to be using triplets, so it's no worries. To keep this lesson short, I'm just going to do one page. I'm going to do lesson six, which is page 14. But if you went through this whole book and did the exact same thing, you'll be a really competent comping player at jazz. Now it goes without saying, you don't have to focus on the left hand completely. You can go through the book and do left hand all the way. And then you can go back and do the right foot. So you can do bass drum comping instead. And you can work through all the limbs and you'll be an independent master by the end of it. So this is how lesson six sounds. So I hope that small example shows you how you can use this book. Obviously I can't go through every page because there's so much in it, but I hope that gives you an idea of how you can use this. Anyway, that just about wraps up the lesson. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Take care.